Hey there and welcome. Get ready to explore a really powerful tool in your Python toolkit, string splitting. At its heart, string splitting is all about taking text, maybe a sentence, a log entry, data from a file, or anything stored as a string, and breaking it down into smaller, more useful pieces. Think of it like carefully cutting a long ribbon into specific lengths. You'll find this technique absolutely everywhere when you work with text data from simple scripts to complex data analysis pipelines. This guide aims to give you a really solid understanding, starting from the basics and working up to more advanced techniques, so you can confidently chop up strings however you need to. So here's what the course looks like. First, you will see why string splitting is such a valuable skill and precisely what you can expect to achieve by the end of this tutorial. Then, before jumping into the main event, you will quickly refresh your memory on Python strings themselves. The real core begins with the split method. You will learn its basic syntax, including the parameters you can use to control its behavior and how it works right out of the box with its default settings. Next, you will focus on splitting with a delimiter. This is where you tell Python exactly what character or sequence of characters like a comma or a tab to use when splitting strings. Sometimes you don't want to split everywhere. So you will cover controlling the number of splits using a specific parameter to limit how many pieces you create. Then you will meet the sibling of split, rsplit which works similarly, but starts splitting from the right end of the string, which is handy in certain situations. You will also glance at some more advanced splitting possibilities. Finally, you will wrap up with a summary and next steps, recapping the key ideas and suggesting where you might want to explore further. Why should you care about splitting strings and what skills will you walk away with? How often will I really use this? The answer is probably a lot more than you think. It's truly essential for data processing and text analysis. Imagine getting data in a CSV file where each line is a single string like first name, last name and age. To work with this data meaningfully like getting the name or age, your very first step is often splitting that string by the comma. Or think about server log files. Each line might contain a timestamp, an IP address, and a message, all separated by spaces or specific characters. Splitting is how you extract that structured information. Knowing how to split strings is an essential step in working with text data. Since text shows up almost everywhere in programming, being able to break it apart, analyze it, and reshape it using tools like the split method helps you handle that data more effectively. It's a basic skill that supports many other text operations. By the end of this video course, you will have the confidence and knowledge to use the split method and its variations. This isn't just about knowing it exists. It's about understanding its parameters like separator and max split inside and out, knowing what they do and how to use them correctly. You know when the default behavior is perfect, when you need to specify a custom delimiter like a comma or a pipe, and when you need to control exactly how many splits occur. You'll also know when split might not be enough and you need to look at tools like regular expressions. We will look at practical examples like parsing CSV-like data, handling file paths, and processing user inputs so you can see how these techniques solve actual programming problems. What happens if your delimiter appears at the start or the end of the string? What if there are multiple delimiters in a row? What about empty strings in the result? You'll learn how split behaves in these situations and how to anticipate and manage them. Now that you know what's ahead, let's move on to the next section where you will lay the groundwork by reviewing some key string concepts that the split method builds on. Alright, before we dive headfirst into the mechanics of split, let's take a brief moment to refresh some core concepts about Python strings. Understanding these fundamentals will make learning split much smoother as split itself is a method that operates on strings and returns results derived from strings. Think of this as checking our tools and materials before starting the main construction work. Let's quickly recap two key ideas about strings. First, strings are sequences of characters. This means that characters in a string have a defined order and you can access individual characters or ranges of characters using their position. For example, in the string Python, P is at index 0 and Y is at index 1 and so on. This sequential nature is fundamental to how many string operations, including splitting, work internally. Second, 
and this is crucial, strings are immutable. Immutable means unchangeable. Once you create a string object in Python, like my string equals to hello, you cannot modify that specific object in memory. If you perform an operation that seems to change it like converting it to uppercase, Python doesn't alter the original hello. Instead, it creates and returns a brand new string object with uppercase hello. The same applies to splitting. When you call my string.split function, the original string remains untouched. What you get back is a new list object containing the substrings. This immutability has implications for memory and how you structure your code when doing lots of string manipulations. You've had a quick refresher on strings. They are immutable sequences. Now let's get into how you can actually use the split method. You will start with the basic syntax, how you can call it and the arguments you can give it to fine tune its behavior. Then you will see how it works out of the box with its default settings. Finally, you will see some common situations where you'd use this default splitting. You call the split method on a string object that you want to break apart. Let's understand the full syntax. First, there is simply the string you want to split. Then comes the method. The split method takes two arguments. Separator is the first argument and it's optional. The separator is a specific string that the split method will search for to decide where to make its cuts. It's your delimiter. If you don't provide anything for separator or if you explicitly pass none, which is the default, split method splits on white space characters, multiple spaces, tabs or new lines. You'll see this in action very soon. Max split is the second optional argument. Max split lets you control the maximum number of splits that will actually be performed on your string. If you set max split to 1, the split method will find the first place the separator occurs, make one split there and then stop. The list you get back will have two items, the part of the string before the separator and the rest of the string after it. If you set max split to 2, it will split at the first two occurrences and you'll get a list with three items. The default value for max split is minus 1. This is a special value that tells the split method to make all possible splits by going through the entire string. 